Hey everyone, this is Adam from the Historical African Martial Arts Association. I hope you're all doing great. I thought we'd take this opportunity to talk about five martial arts from North Africa that you can learn about. We start our journey in Egypt with modern Tartib. Modern Tartib is the most recent incarnation of the ancient art of Tartib, also known as Fan al Nazahawa Tartib, that was practiced back in the days of ancient Egypt. You actually see it depicted on the walls of the Abu Sinacropolis alongside the other two disciplines of the Egyptian army, which are archery and wrestling. This particular art includes lots of movement, stick fighting, and of course, the four principles of defending your head, striking from the rear, movement, and attacking the opponent, not the stick. Now we go into the heart of the Sahara for Mabza wrestling. Mabza wrestling, also known as Karash, is believed to have originated among the Tuareg people and is believed to have been based on Tuareg war wrestling. This particular system is not too dissimilar from Lutz traditionnel or Lab or Sudanese wrestling. Uh, the general stances are the same, the rules are very similar, and it's a spectacular system to watch. Uh, this is still practiced at ceremonies and family gatherings and is generally a good way to bring the community together. Now we go west to the Maghreb to learn about El Matreg. This is a stick fighting form that originated in the Orania region and is very popular among the Amazigh people, especially in Algeria. The system has three different incarnations. You have El Matreg, which is the single stick form. You have Wakaf, which is a two-handed single stick form. And then you have Zuj, which is two hands on two sticks. This particular system is believed to have been used to teach the basics of swordsmanship. What is really interesting is that even though the basics, the 14 strikes or the 12 strikes and two thrusts, are very simple to learn, this art is full of complex angles, dynamic footwork, and absolutely dazzling combinations. There are great leagues that you can watch on YouTube that show the various incarnations of this art in all of its beauty. To the Canary Islands to learn about the art of Juego de Palo Canario. This particular stick fighting system originated from among the Guanches people who are the original inhabitants of the islands. This is characterized by fluid movement using a stick that is about four to six feet and has been known to be used in duels. There is a record in I think it's about 1590 uh, where this is actually discussed in terms of the format of how these duels are held but it's phenomenal to watch. Last but not least, we have Furusia. Furusia comes from the root word feris, meaning knight. So this refers to any individual who would have been part of an elite class that fought on horseback. Now, this also refers to the assemblage of martial techniques that they would have practiced, including wrestling, knife fighting, horseback riding, archery, lance fighting, all of it in one big, complete system. So a complete fetus would be able to do all of these things. Now to learn this, unlike some of these other arts that are practiced in a folk tradition, you can learn this from historical texts like Kitab al Maskhun Jami al Funun or Nihiyat al Sul. Now, this is a growing art that people are getting more interested in, and we look forward to see what reconstruction efforts come out of it. But that is North African martial arts. One more thing, if you get an opportunity, please do go to teespring.com and order your Hammer Heroes tee. This particular one that I'm wearing is Hannibal Barca, but we also have Queen Amina, we have Toussaint Louverture, we have Emperor Haile Selassie, and all different kinds of tees for your wearing pleasure. So, if you get an opportunity, go out and get one. The Historical African Martial Arts Association's Hero Series celebrates the great military leaders of Africa's past. Order yours today at teespring.com.